What's up, Mad Hatter Gang? Yep, that's right. Mad Hatter Gang is now canon. Every subscriber that subscribes to me shall be called the Mad Hatter Gang. <laughs> I've been wanting to make this video because uh, I've I've had this uh, thought in my head, and I uh, and I feel like I really want to put it out there. As long as I can remember, I had this dream in my head that I wanted to uh, be an actor because I just enjoy being on stage and like acting and living other people's life. And uh, and back when I was I don't know 17 or 18, I had this dream that I had this dream that I one day want to uh, be in a in a feature film. You know, like a Bollywood feature film. For the longest time, that was my dream. My entire goal uh, for life was that you know I will one day try to become uh, like like I'm an actor. I want to be in a Bollywood film, and so that was my goal. As I've noticed, as the years passed by and I matured more, I have realized that these. I mean, no hate to anyone, but I feel like these industries have so much competition and and there's so much bureaucracy involved and so much politics involved in like these these industries that it's very hard for a normal middle class Indian to try to get into these industries you know we as someone who doesn't have any connections uh, the odds are just just stacked against us either you need like lots of money or you need to have connections or you need to have both that's how you usually get into like these big uh, bollywood stuff or or you ha you you got to like struggle for like 10 10 15 years it was always my dream that i wanted to be in a film and and the thing is like it didn't hit me uh, until a few weeks back that i was actually living my dream my goal with acting or uh, direction of film is was never to be popular i did not uh, want to be popular like it would be fine I guess to be popular but uh, it was never my primary goal it's just something that comes with uh, the profession I guess but I never wanted to be popular I didn't want to typically be a Bollywood hero in that sense like when people used to ask me when I was a kid that oh you want to be uh, an actor so they would be like, oh, a Bollywood hero, right? But I would say, no, 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 I don't want to be a Bollywood hero. I wanted to be an actor. And after I graduated, uh, my first thing was to earn money and go to Mumbai and struggle. And I had uh, accepted this and I was like completely on board with this. And then the pandemic hit and uh, I don't know, I, and when the pandemic hit, I just started like making movies and I've met people and I started making movies and I was, I kept making movies and movies and movies and then I made like two feature films and somewhere on the line, I feel, I think that whole process somehow made me a better filmmaker or like a better artist than if I had gone you know the traditional route because I feel like I have learned so much oh my god I, I hope this is not braggy but I, I think I've learned like so much so quickly uh, just by like sitting and making films I started doing this I started making films I didn't I was very scared because this was a very risky move um, you know because 
I don't know. I I saw so many of my friends like get on with the life, and uh, you know, cause like you have this like this set uh, paths that you have to go uh, in life, but uh, yeah. So I was very ashamed of telling people that you know I <laughs> I make films. Uh, because I don't know. Usually, these um, the, I guess it's an Indian thing where people uh, usually ask your parents like, "Oh, what is he doing?" You know, and uh, usually I had to go with some something, or like they'll ask you what you are doing, and uh, I have to go with something like, ah, "I'm doing uh, this studies," or "I'm I don't know doing that something." But uh, I was always very. Uh, scared to admit that i am a filmmaker and i want to make films because I, the thing is like this is the thing with indian society usually uh, it's like art uh, like if you do art like as a side business or like a uh, uh, like as a hobby if you do it as a side hobby it's going to be appreciated uh, as just a hobby the moment you want to make it bigger people are going to be very judgy about it and uh, i mean that's what i've noticed and uh, in general it's like what i've noticed is that people uh, in india they have this thing where they don't want their kids to go into you know arts because it's like a very i guess it's not a stable field compared to something uh, like engineering or doctor which is very common in india there's like so many engineers and doctors but like i feel we are always there is this obsession with productivity and hustling and going towards your goal in life and so many of us are just just stuck running on a treadmill and we keep running running and running and we tire ourselves but we go nowhere ultimately what happens is that we end up we end up sacrificing our dreams there are so many obstacles you know against the middle class and to try to make it big it it requires a lot of persistence it requires a lot of like i don't know mental toughness to get through all that and i don't know if this if this makes sense but like what i'm trying to say is that i am very happy and recently i've come to like accept myself saying that accept myself as a filmmaker cuz i've noticed that like life is very it's very random <laughs> you can do everything in the world and if it's not written in your favor it will never go in your favor and that's and that's the fact it's just that sometimes you just have to be at the right moment at the right time life is a random game of dice you know it's a random game of luck and i'm just i'm just grateful that i'm somehow going towards a goal that like i actually like i'm just glad that I have such amazing like parents and friends who are very supportive of what I do and I I think they are even more supportive than I am of myself <laughs> which is weird but I'm just saying that thankfully my dream hasn't died yet in fact it doesn't it hasn't even died I have accomplished it cuz think about this as a child I always wanted to act in a film and it doesn't matter if it wasn't a f- bollywood bollywood film i still have a film right <laughs> and i make movies and now it's like almost i've made like 40 films which is which is a very like big thing for me and someone coming from my background and i just wanted to make this video to say that i accept myself as a filmmaker now and i'm not trying to 
run away from this possibility that uh, I'm a filmmaker. And I am kind of proud of, of what I do. Because it's not a big dream that I have. It's just making films. And even making one film, like a one feature film, is enough to fulfill that dream. So in that sense, I guess, I've lived my dream. <laughs> and funny thing is that I'm not even, like, I'm not even famous. I don't even care about being famous. As, as I said before, you know, I, I don't have even that, that many subscribers. It's just that I'm just glad that, you know, there are some people who are watching me. And they're liking the content, which is fine with me. You know, I don't even want to be so famous so that, like, I'll have so much pressure on me. Uh, and I can't even experiment that much. So yeah, I just I just wanted to make this video because I wanted to put it out there that I am glad to be making films. I don't know this is not gonna last, but I feel like I have like already accomplished my goal, you know, and and everything that comes after this. It's just gonna be a blessing. And yeah, this that's about it, I guess. I, this was just a rambly video. And I hope you enjoy the videos that are coming. Hopefully you like the previous videos as well. So if you wanna subscribe, um, <laughs> uh, ooh, cats.